Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gribia Palace. The cabinet highlighted His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's address, which coincided with Bahrain's National Day celebrations in commemoration of the modern Bahraini state during the era of its founder, Ahmed Al Fatih, in 1783, as an Arab and Muslim country, and the anniversary of Bahrain joining the United Nations as a full fledged member, as well as the anniversary of His Majesty the king's accession to the throne. The cabinet noted that the speech served as a foundation for the government's efforts in achieving His Majesty's far-reaching vision and aspirations that benefit the kingdom and its citizens. The cabinet congratulated His Majesty the King on the laying of the foundation stone of the Kingdom of Bahrain's National Assembly building. In this regard, the cabinet highlighted its continued commitment to further strengthening cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities to enhance the kingdom's growth and development. On the occasion of the upcoming New Year, the Cabinet wished that 2023 would be a year of prosperity and development for Bahrain and its people, and that peace and security would prevail in the world. The Cabinet reviewed a memorandum by the Minister of Finance and National Economy that covered the quarterly economic report of the Kingdom of Bahrain for the third quarter of 2022. The report detailed developments in the implementation of the Economic Recovery Plan. According to the report, Bahrain's economy grew by 5.5% up to the third quarter, and the growth of the non-oil sector increased by 7.2% in the same time. During the third quarter of 2022, Bahrain's economy recorded a 4.2% growth, and the non-oil sector recorded 4.9% growth in that same time period. Following a review of the memorandum by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, the Cabinet followed up on the implementation of development projects and initiatives related to raising the quality and efficiency of government services that have been approved by the Cabinet earlier this year. The Cabinet discussed several memorandums during the meeting with the following outcomes. The approval of the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Minister of Interior regarding the establishment of the National Center for Financial Investigations by amending the Ministry of Interior's organizational structure. The move aims to improve and support government efforts in this regard. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs to amend the discussion of to establish customs departments. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft decision to amend some provisions of the executive regulations of the building's regulation law. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between Bahrain and the African Union on official joint cooperation. The Cabinet then took note of the ministerial reports regarding the participation in the Baghdad Conference for Cooperation and Partnership, the visit of the Minister of Health to the United Arab Emirates, the participation in the launch of the Mustafa Endowment for Seal of the Noble Quran in the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the participation in the fourth session of the Arab Council for Population and Development, the participation in the 39th meeting of a Council of Arab Ministers of Housing and Reconstruction, and the 7th Arab Housing Conference and the visits of foreign delegations to the Kingdom of Bahrain in January 2023. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the President of the Bahrain Society of Engineers, Dr. Raida Al Alawi, and a board of directors to mark the 50th anniversary of the Society's founding at Glebia Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's unwavering support to the kingdom's skilled workforce, noting their importance as part of Team Bahrain in furthering the kingdom's growth and development. His Royal Highness congratulated the President and Board of Directors on their 50th anniversary, noting the role of the Bahrain Society of Engineers in enhancing the skills and capabilities of Bahraini engineers and encouraging them to pursue careers in engineering through its various initiatives. 
His Royal Highness wished all members of the Bahrain Society of Engineers continued success in their future endeavors. For her part, the President of the Bahrain Society of Engineers expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and further expressed her appreciation for His Royal Highness's support of Bahraini professionals and their impact on the Kingdom's wide-ranging development. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Decree 84 of 2022 transferring the employees of the office regulated as per Decree 56 of 2013 to the Prime Minister's office based on the proposal of the Deputy Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. The decree stipulates that the transferred employees shall maintain the same job rights and benefits in accordance with the organizational structure of the Prime Minister's office. It also stipulates that all the financial appropriations allocated to the office, whose organization was promulgated by Decree 56 of 2013 in the state budget, as well as all its rights and commitments, shall be transferred to the Prime Minister's office. Every text that conflicts with the provisions of this decree shall be abrogated. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the Royal Bahrain Naval Force and the Royal Saudi Naval Force Joint Naval Drill Bridge 23, held from the 20th to the 29th of December. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman highlighted the long-standing relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, which continue to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Highness further noted that bilateral relations are also reinforced by the ongoing support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman visited various fizzles participating in the drill and was briefed on the drill's objectives, training and preparation plans. His Highness commended the drill and the joint efforts demonstrated by the participants, highlighting the importance of these drills in developing cooperation between the Royal Bahrain Naval Force and the Royal Saudi Naval Force. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting yesterday presided over by its chairman Ali Saleh. The council approved the formation of a committee to prepare a draft response to the royal speech. The council also approved the formation of permanent committees. The council approved that Adil al Asumi and Ali al Aradi will be representatives of the council in the Arab parliament. The Minister of Tourism, Fatma al sirifi affirmed the implementation of all tourism objectives within the framework of the Tourism Strategy of Bahrain 2022-2026, which comes as part of the economic recovery plan that will contribute to enriching the sector and attracting tourists in line with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. The Minister reviewed the development of the Galali Beach Development Project and its stages. As Sarifi's trust that the project will include a range of services, restaurants and entertainment that will strengthen Bahrain's position on the regional and international tourism map. The activities of the Heritage Village organized by the Ministry of Information has concluded. On the occasion, the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan and naimi praised the keenness of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister towards Bahraini heritage. The minister also praised the role of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work in youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa in this regard, and appreciated his support toward various heritage events in order to maintain authentic Bahraini heritage. The second edition of the event witnessed wide participation, exceeding 100,000 visitors from inside and outside the kingdom and included various programs and activities that highlighted Bahrain's heritage and traditions.